Welcome to the Library Media Center website. We're going to continue our 3D figure building in 123D design by making some fine tuning adjustments to our characters. We've got the body, we've got the arms, we've done some relatively technical things to get that going. Now we're going to kind of fine tune it and make it look the way we want. So the next tool that we're going to use is called the fillet or fillet tool. That tool is located in the modify menu. Under modify you can see there's this fillet, there's also chamfer and these two things let you make a rounded corner or a uh, solid straight kind of um, diagonal corner. So we're going to use fillet and we're going to change the top of our guy so that his head is kind of more rounded off. So fillet asks you to choose an edge so we're going to choose this edge and then it will give you an arrow and as you pull the arrow down whoops it makes kind of a rounded edge. Now if you go too far you'll get that red uh, error message. So here's where I want to leave it so I let go and now I'm happy with his round head. It basically took the top of the cylinder and rounded off the edge. So now that that fillet is done we're going to make the face of our character and then we'll be done with our figure. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in a cylinder to make some eyes. So I'm going to go to my main primitives menu I'm going to choose cylinder and of course it comes in like my regular gigantic cylinder and we're going to change the radius to 0.5 so it's super skinny and then we're going to change the height to let's say um, just 3. So we made kind of a tiny little cylinder and what we're going to do with that is we are going to use it as an eye. So what we'll do is we're going to take this and we're going to move it using the move menu by clicking on it and we're going to raise it up into the air and then we're going to rotate it so that it's facing kind of facing forward and then we're going to slide it over you can kind of use the shadow on the bottom to get it where you want to go and we're going to put it kind of embedded into his head so if we look it's kind of too far over on the side so we'll move it more into the center so if I click out you can see I've got this cylinder that I thought was connected and apparently it's not so we'll go back here and we'll move it and we're going to shove it all the way kind of so it's part way into the body. So it's kind of sticking out like that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to click on it and we're going to copy and paste again. So I'm going to use control C, click off, control V, it's on top of the old one and I'm just going to slide it to the right so it'll be on the exact same level as my first cylinder so they're kinda lined up there as eyes. Now since I don't really want these eyes to stick out into space I'm gonna use the subtract tool which is basically gonna allow us to make a hole in our figure the size of this cylinder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up here to the combine tool and the second one over is called subtract and the way that subtract works is you click on the solid that you wanna keep and then your source solid will be what you are subtracting and when you click out you'll notice the shape is gone and it left a hole in the background so now we're going to do that again we'll go back to combine subtract we'll click on what we're keeping it switches over to source so we'll click on what we want to get rid of and then we click out in space and there are our eyes finally the last thing that we're gonna do is make a mouth and I'm just gonna kinda have this be an emotionalist guy so he's just gonna have a straight line mouth and the way I'm gonna do that is go up to my primitives and I'm gonna use a box I'm really gonna end up making a rectangle so I'm gonna click on box and I'm gonna make the length 2 millimeters I'm gonna make the width 5 millimeters and I'm gonna make the height let's say 0.5 now if we look at this, that looks like his mouth is going to be pretty long, so I'm going to change the width back to 4 and see if that's better. Yeah, that looks like it'll be better. So now I'll click out in space and here is my rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it again and I'm going to slide it over so it looks like it's right in front of my guy and then I'm going to slide it back kind of into his body. Whoops, that's too far. And I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to raise it up so it's at the level of where I want the mouth to be. 
So if we look, we've got this rectangle sticking out. Now that kind of looks nice. I could leave it like that, but since I subtracted the eyes and made kind of eye holes, I'm going to subtract the mouth and kind of make this mouth into a hole. So I'm going to go back up to my combine menu. I'm going to choose subtract. My target solid is the body that I want to keep. My source solid, which it automatically switched to, is the mouth I want to subtract. And when I click out in space, there's his mouth. And actually, he ended up looking kind of happy. So I've got my character and my figure made. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here to the menu. I am going to save a copy to my computer. And one reminder, and I should have said this a long time ago, you want to make saves very, very awesome, uh, often. The computers that you guys are using are a little bit older, and so they're not quite as big, and they're going to um, maybe have some video card problems where the entire program could crash. So I'm going to name this. And now that just saved my 3D design project. So if I wanted to go make more changes to him, I could. If I'm totally done and ready for printing, what I'm going to do is go back to this menu and I'm going to choose 3D print. Uh, I made a mistake. Instead of 3D print, I'm going to choose export. Under export is the option for STL. STL is the kind of file that I need for my 3D printer to work. So we'll use this mesh tessellation setting. That just means how um, how refined is your model? Is it real? Um, are we saving it on a real high density or just low density? And then you have to check this box that says combine objects. If you do not check this box, it'll come into an STL as like just a cylinder. It won't have any of the pieces that you've added. So you check combine objects. You click OK. You will save this into your folder. You should name it your first name, last name, and the color you want it to print in. Now, you obviously will not be printing this test guy. You'll just this was just for practice. So the saving method and naming it your first name, last name, and the color you want it to print in is just for the things your your logos that you'll actually want to print. So if you have any questions, please ask myself. You can ask Miss Sneathan. You can ask Mr. Hints. We will all be happy to help you and happy designing and good luck.